My name is Christina Quintero and this is my lab for constant velocity. The goal of this lab was to find an object moving at a constant velocity and analyze the data using Newton's second law. I recorded a video of a bottle of conditioner rolling across a table, recorded its motion in tracker, and created a computer model of its motion using vIdle. The computer model and the predicted model were then compared to show that the net force of the system was zero and that there was a constant velocity. Newton's second law, or the momentum principle, states that the change of momentum of a system is equal to the net force acting on the system multiplied by the duration of the interaction. This is expressed using the formula delta V equals F net divided by mass times delta T. This can also be written as V final equals V initial plus F net divided by mass times delta T. By looking at this equation, we can see that if f net equals zero, then v final will equal v initial, meaning that the object will have a constant velocity. In other words, if an object is moving at a constant velocity, then it will continue to do so unless it interacts with a force. This is the video of the bottle of conditioner. The bottle is the system being observed. Using tracker, I analyzed the video setting the origin at the center of the bottle of conditioner and using its diameter for the calibration stick. After tracking the points, a graph was produced. The graph shows all of the plotted points. The graph is linear and the slope is negative, indicating a constant velocity in the negative x direction based on my chosen coordinate system. The information gathered from Tracker was then used to create a computer model. Here I've highlighted the most important parts of the code. The bottle's mass, indicated by this line of code, was 0.958 kilograms. According to Tracker, the bottle's initial position was at 0.00600 meters. The bottle's initial velocity was a negative 0.44800 meters per second, indicated here by this part of the code. The initial time was also at time zero. The initial velocity was calculated using the position and time of the first two points in the equation change in position over change in time. Lastly, delta t equals 0.01 seconds, indicating the change in time used to predict the velocity and position of the bottle. The value is very small so that it can be accurate. This section of the code inputs the physics on the model. As explained earlier, the net force of the bottle is zero because it moves at a constant velocity, which is indicated here by this line of code. The next line is Newton's second law so that the computer can predict the velocity of the bottle using real world physics, which we have written in code right here. Lastly, we have the position update formula so the computer can predict the bottle's position. Finally, this last line of code is so that the loop runs in increments of 0 0.01 seconds, indicated here by t equals t plus delta t, and will run until the end, which is 1.233 seconds. When I run the code, a computational model of the motion of the bottle shows. At first glance, the graph looks like the graph produced using Tracker. Using the data from Tracker and vPython, a comparison graph was created. At the beginning, the two graphs were identical, as seen here. In the middle, the actual values, around here, stray from the predicted. This could have occurred if the bottle was still accelerating from the initial push, meaning that the net force was not zero. Therefore, it did not have a constant velocity. Lastly, I will be answering the questions from the lab. First off is the what if question. If the axis was changed, the bottle would be moving on the positive x-axis. The slope of the resulting graph in tracker would also change, going from a negative to a positive slope. The same number of points would be taken and the distance traveled would be the same. As for the what does it mean question, it is impossible to say how many pushes and pulls added up to get zero based on the observations and calculations done in this lab. All we know is that there is a constant velocity, which means that the net force is zero. Thank you for watching.